This is a quick test video for our removable access panels blog. Be sure to read the whole story by clicking the link in the description. In this first test, we have a lightweight 4 ounce panel that we want to keep in place with magnets but still allow for removal when necessary. First we tried some tiny 1 16th inch cylinder magnets but they were too weak. Some 8th inch diameter discs did hold it in place, but it could still slide down. If you shake it, it falls off a little bit more. Using four D31 3 16th inch diameter discs held the small panel firmly, but we could still remove it. When trying to figure out what magnets to use, keep in mind that it's always much easier to slide a magnet on a piece of steel than it is to pull it off. So you might need something stronger than expected. Using a few pairs of the D31 magnets also worked well, but it can be pretty tricky to get the magnets perfectly aligned. It's fun. Definitely more to push. Yeah. Although once you push it, it's done. It doesn't like. Yeah, I think it. I think it's harder because that one slides around a lot. This one is more, it stays. Right. But you do have to be sure, like, you know, that one, if you're a little off, it'll still stick because it's magnet to steel. But this one, you kind of got to line them up really nice okay. to get them all, get them all together. Okay, cool. What about a larger 11 pound panel? Our first choice was some rubber coated mounting magnets. These versatile blocks are great for this kind of thing. They have a hole for a screw, and the rubber coating is grippy, which increases friction, therefore increasing the sliding force. They can support more weight on a vertical surface compared to stronger nickel-plated magnets because of the rubber coating. It's hard, but if I try to do one at a time like this, that's better. This here. And then if I pull on it this way, it's sturdy. If I pull on it like this, that comes off pretty easily. Just one corner at a time? Yeah. We also tried some nickel plated countersuck magnets. Four of our three quarter inch diameter countersuck magnets were not strong enough. But notice how when the panel is resting on the ground, they are plenty strong in holding the panel to the steel wall. For heavier panels, a good design practice would be to have the weight of the panel rest on some sort of ledge, so that the magnets just need to hold the panel against the wall. Some stronger 1 inch diameter magnets couldn't hold the panels by themselves. They needed some thin rubber pads to be able to hold the panel, again because of the increased friction. Keep these things in mind when trying to figure out magnet size and you can always contact your engineers for help. Does it feel tougher to pull off still than the um, uh, rubber ones? Yeah, it's still a little tough to pull off there. Yeah, I think that one still feels a little bit stronger than the rubber banding. Anyway. 